happy to be here. My name is Christian Glombeck. Um, I'm based out of Berlin, and I'm the Red Hat Internal Engineering Chair on the OKD Working Group. Um, so what am I going to talk to, what am I going to present on uh, today? What is OKD for? What is Fedora Core OS? Um, a little preview demo of OKD for. Uh, a little bit about the road ahead. Um, I'll plug the OKD Working Group. Um, and also, uh, I'll give you some, some links so you can try out the OKD4 preview. All right, let's get started. What is OKD4? So OKD is the origin community distribution of Kubernetes. Um, it's essentially the OpenShift code base plus Fedora CoreOS. Fedora CoreOS being the base operating system OpenShift or OKD runs on. Um, and there's a little star uh, right there. It could be any operating system based on RPM OS tree and Ignition. So you may not know uh, these technologies. RPM OS tree is a hybrid image and packaging system. It combines uh, lib OS tree, which you may know from uh, flat packs, and um, a lib DNF, which is the package uh, system we use uh, in Fedora land and now also in RHEL 8. Uh, so, yeah, OKD4 is obviously the successor to OKD uh, 3.x, um, which is formally also called uh, Origin. Uh, so with OKD4, we, we're really trying to bring all of that new good stuff with the operators and the automatically updating cluster um, to the community, meaning uh, while you need, you, need, uh, you need a subscription for OCP, uh, we really want to commit to uh, always having a, a free and open source and freely available version of everything in Red Hat. So with OKD4, um, we want to deliver on that promise. And I know we're a, bit, we're a bit late um, with getting there, but uh, yeah, finally today uh, we got the alpha out. So very happy about that. <laughs> yeah, I want to, I want to shout out to uh, Vadim Rutkowski and Clayton Coleman. Who have done uh, lots of work um, making this uh, making this a thing, making this a reality. Um, so, yeah, great work. All right, um, next on the agenda, what is Fedora CoreOS? So we replaced in OCP. It runs on Red Hat CoreOS, which is an it's not a standalone product. It's an implementation detail of OCP. Um, now in OKD, we replace that uh, with Fedora CoreOS. And we're actually not settled on it has to be Fedora CoreOS. Uh, and we're open to you know, working on, on getting more uh, operating systems supported as base OSs. Right now, in the alpha, we chose Fedora CoreOS because it was the path of, of least resistance for us. Um, so what is Fedora CoreOS? Um, it's an autom automatically updating Linux, Linux OS. So um, yeah, we have automatic updates um, enabled by, de by default, I think, in, in the standard Fedora Core OS. In the OKD use case, we use a slightly different updating mechanism. Um, but yeah, in general, it's a OS aimed at containerized workloads. Um, it's based on RPM OS tree and Ignition. Ignition, you may, I think I skipped that. Ignition is the first boot provisioning and configuration tool we, we use, and that came in with the um, Core OS acquisition. Uh, which is a real cool thing. We can really um, declaratively uh, configure machines in different clouds um, on first boot. Uh, so really cool. Um, Fedora CoreOS, as the name says, is composed of Fedora RPM packages. It doesn't use the same build system for creating the images. We have the CoreOS assembler for that, um, which, which you can use to actually build your own o OS um, out of RPM packages. Um, yeah, Fedora CoreOS is also called FCOS. Um, that's a thing that you know we developers uh, at Red Hat like to use. And yeah, we, we chose it as the base OS for OKD on FCOS, which is the alpha right now. Um, yeah, and a little plug: uh, the CoreOS assembler. If you want to try to build your own OS, it, it's not too hard with it. It's a really cool thing. Uh, try it out. Next thing: the OKD preview, the OKD for preview demo. Um, let's hope it all works, and I have internet access. Let's. All right, everybody off the internet. 
<laughs> so I opened up, um, I just spun this up before and the spinning up finished like five minutes before my talk, so uh, right on time. Um, as you can see, this has the OKD logo. It's the web console. Um, and I'm not going to go too much into detail here, but um, I'm not sure if you can see that. Just to prove, this cluster runs on Fedora CoreOS Preview. So Fedora CoreOS itself is still in preview stage, but um, it works already as base for OKD. Um, yeah, I could demo more, but I'm not going to go into that. It takes ages to load pages. Uh, so back to the presentation. Um, all right, the road ahead. Um, we have, in the OKD working group, agreed on a roadmap uh, for version 4. And that roadmap was three phases. Phase 0, which was sort of the internal preparation to get the alpha out. And we've done that. O phase 0 ends today. Um, so we're starting with phase one now, which is um, actually getting towards a, a general uh, yeah, a GA release um, with a bit more stability. Uh, that's going to be phase one, um, you know, building stuff a little bit more, um, yeah, out a little bit more of the CI and doing, doing things a little bit more uh, how we want them how, yeah, to see in, in the long run. And then uh, in phase two, we, we want to look at um, bringing in more co community collaboration and using that um, also for technology incubation. So if you have something you want to see in OCP one day, maybe uh, the OKD working group would be the right place to, to actually start um, you know, pitching that uh, so we can try to get it in the code base. Um, so yeah, the OKD working group. Uh, if you want to join uh, or have a look, uh, it's on GitHub in the OpenShift uh, organization, the community repo. Uh, we are on Slack uh, at the op on the OpenShift dev channel on the Kubernetes Slack and also on the OpenShift Commons Slack in, in the general uh, channel. There is bi-weekly um, video conference meetings uh, with Diane Mueller, uh, Danny Komnia, or what is it, the community, uh, the community engineering chair, and myself. Um, and we also have a Google group, uh, which we use as a mailing list for announcements and, and all that. So uh, you're welcome to, to come by and say hello and contribute, of course. Um, yeah, and the, the most interesting thing, I think, to, uh, today is we got the alpha release out. And everybody's uh, welcome to, to try it. Uh, go to okd.io slash download.html, and you'll find instructions there on how to uh, spin up your own OKD cluster. Um, the repo, uh, I think currently there's only the readme in there, is um, openshift slash okd on GitHub. And if you want to have a look about uh, the releases we're building, continuously, um, then go to this origin-release.svc.ci.openshift.org um, web page where you'll see all the, all the builds. Um, yeah, that's it real quick for me. I hope if you're interested, uh, drop by. We'll have office hours uh, tomorrow um, uh, where you can just come. It's in the Marriott gas lamp, um, in the gas lamp meeting room on the eighth floor tomorrow from 11 to 1. I'm not sure if I have time to take any Hold the questions until, until the AMA session. But also, if you um, come tomorrow, we have a two-hour session at the, on, as you said, at the Gas Lamp Marriott, which is right across from the convention center um, on the eighth floor. And we'll be there, and we can answer any questions, and we can try some of this. So um, this was an early, wonderful, birthday present. So thank you, Christian, and thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.